Okay, so last week the papal conclave met to elect a new pope. What happens is the cardinals of the Catholic Church get locked into the Sistine Chapel and they're not allowed out and they're not allowed any contact with the outside world until they've elected a new pope. They have four votes every day. After each vote, they burn all of the ballots, but they add some chemicals to make the smoke either white or black. White if we have a new pope, or black if it's unsuccessful and we have to go through another vote. So we have here all of the ingredients to make either black or white papal smoke. We have lactose, we have anthracene, we have potassium perchlorate, sulfur, and we have potassium chlorate. And we've got some pine resin, which is this stuff here, which comes out of a tree. So let's start with black smoke. We're gonna have an unsuccessful vote. So we need some sulfur, we need some potassium perchlorate, and we need some anthracene. You can imagine we've counted up the ballots. We don't have a majority vote. Um, we're gonna burn off the ballots with our mixture of chemicals and tell the people waiting outside that um, we don't have a pope. Here it comes. Perfect. Look all right? Beautiful. That looks good there, doesn't it? It does. So in our, in our chimney here, we've got some pretty good black smoke. In previous years, there's been a little bit of trouble. There's been some doubt about the colour of the smoke. Um, I think in the last conclave, when Pope Benedict was elected, there was a kind of a grey smoke and nobody was really sure if we had a Pope. So we generated so much heat that we've actually cracked our chimney here. The funnel has cracked. Oh no, I think we've made someone angry. <laughs> I'm going to leave um, before Neil gets back. Let it cool down, run a bit of water through it. Okay, so our previous vote was unsuccessful. But we just had a second vote. It's good news. We have a new Pope. So we need to tell the outside world. Um, and the traditional way is, as I said before, white smoke. So we have some potassium chlorate in this case and a sugar which is lactose and then finally we have this stuff which is a resin from a tree. Okay so here we go. White smoke, habemus papam. So the key difference is, is the uh, source of the carbon in each of the flames. In the black smoke, we have anthracene. Anthracene is a, a ring-based molecule. It's three rings stuck together, lots of carbon, lots of hydrogen, but no oxygen. When that molecule burns, when it co combines with the oxygen in the air, it produces soot particles, right? produces bits of soot, solid carbon, which absorb light. If anyone who has seen charcoal, solid carbon is black, right? And that's what we're getting in the black smoke. With the white smoke, we have potassium chlorate and lactose. Now lactose is slightly smaller than anthracene. It's got carbon and hydrogen, but it's also got a lot of oxygen. So when anthracene combines with the oxygen from the potassium chlorate and the atmosphere, we don't get these big soot particles. We get CO2, we get water vapor, we get lots of these things. We might even get a bit of potassium chloride forming from the chlorate. Um, but the key point is, we don't have these big soot particles that the anthracene gives us. And we end up with this much cleaner smoke. And hopefully the difference between then the white smoke and the black smoke is visible from St. Peter's Square when people are looking up at the top of the Sistine Chapel. Pope Francis is the new Pope and interestingly Pope Francis is a chemist. He studied chemistry when he was younger. So uh, evidently chemistry does prepare you for lots of different careers. We tell our students this all the time. 
but it can even prepare you for the highest office in the Catholic Church.